Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose. I'm Chris Riley, and today we're gonna be talking about a very seldom taught topic called the silhouette sign. Now, when we're looking at chest x-rays and trying to distinguish if something is an infiltrate, which could mean pneumonia or atelectasis, we are always on the lookout for this thing called silhouette sign. Now, traditionally, what a silhouette is is shadows overlapping each other, so you can't really tell which hand is on top of the other. In radiology, specifically looking at x-rays, it's when tissues of similar density are next to each other, and you can't tell where one ends and the other begins. But in a chest x-ray, our radiolucent lungs, which are air-filled, that density is going to be closer to that of air. So you're able to see sharp heart borders and sharp diaphragm borders, which are both soft tissue density. Now, if we have fluid or some kind of pathological process abutting one of those soft tissue densities in what should otherwise be air-filled lung, you get something called the silhouette sign, which is blurring of those previously sharp heart borders or diaphragm borders or aortic contour. In this example, we see a right lower lobe pneumonia. It's kind of subtle here, but you do see that blurring of that right diaphragm. And we think of that blurring as pus from that pneumonia in that right lower lobe because the right lower lobe of the lung abuts that right diaphragm border. And that is silhouette sign. This was just a brief overview of the silhouette sign. So to check out a full breakdown of the silhouette sign, including many more examples, head over to mrap.org and check out the chest x-ray fundamentals course.